when I got there in the MTC, we met a teacher, me and my companion, who had actually gone to our mission. And she's like, this is the best mission because it's the world in one city. You have every single culture. So we were like, whoa, it's so cool. And when I got there, it was true. We had, when they wrote our mission letters, my mission president wrote us a letter, you know, like all mission presidents do. And he says, we have missionaries from 26 different countries in this mission all over the world. Um, you know, there were probably like, I don't know, maybe 10 languages in our mission. There was Spanish, Chinese, Cambodian, um, what else, like... Tongan, Samoan, just a ton. So it was really cool to be able to see tons of different cultures, you know. Um, there were specifically different words in each language. There was a Tongan steak. There were that many Tongans. Um, they have a lot of Spanish branches, so that was interesting. So I specifically served Spanish speaking, which is amazing. Um, I guess I served in specifically maybe like three Spanish branches. One of my areas was actually a bilingual ward. So that was interesting. So we taught English and Spanish, um, which was a little difficult because cultures clash a little bit and they had to use translators, Spanish people did, during sacrament meeting. But people are really loving and kind, so you might have a lot of, you might be in a ward like that. Uh, my first ward, the Spanish, well, depends where you are, but sometimes the Spanish wards struggle a little bit more than the English wards just because um, a lot of the people are new converts. Uh, the leadership isn't as strong. For example, my first, well, it was actually a ward, but they had to downsize to just the bishop and first counselor. So it was technically a ward, but we didn't have a second counselor. So our job um, in that area was to find nine priesthood holders, I think, as well as teaching, you know, and baptizing. So we were really trying to build up the ward, which you might see a lot being in the Spanish culture, just because they're smaller, smaller branches. But it makes you feel really needed and loved as a missionary. Like those are some of my happiest memories are just working with the ward to strengthen it. Uh, growing really close to the, the members and them reaching out to their friends. So one really cool experience with that, um, I served in one area where the branch was kind of struggling a little bit more, the ward, and I actually got to go back about a year later and serve in the same area, and the ward had grown like three times over. It was amazing. And I could tell just like from what we started, through the work of missionaries, how much it had grown. So that was really testifying to me that, you know, things you don't see, like everything has, you know, the fruit that happens later on. So that was really cool. Uh, serving Spanish speaking. There are actually a lot of Spanish speakers in San Francisco. Um, quite a few illegal immigrants you run across teaching. So that was interesting. We were like, are you supposed to or are you not? Um, but they're really warm people. Um, it's a struggle for them because they're living in America. They don't know English, so they don't have as many opportunities. Um, in one of my areas, a lot of them worked out in the fields. One of them had like a PhD in Mexico, but was working in the apple orchards in California. So you just learn a lot about different people, what they've gone through. I'm trying to think. They all bring different cultures. Unlike going to South America, like Guatemala specifically, you'll run across people from El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico, Argentina, and you get to learn about all their different cultures. You get to eat all their different foods. So I know different things about every culture. And some missionaries are better than me, and they can tell, like, different accents, you know. I can tell, like, where someone's from, but some are better because you get to hear all of them. You get to hear people from all over. Um, so it was really cool. Got to eat a ton of good food. But, yeah, just you learn a lot about different cultures, um, specifically, like, you know, different Spanish cultures. 
if you run across people from all over, like Russia, Germany, New Zealand, yeah, again, there are tons of Tongans, and they're the nicest people you ever meet. Like, really. <laughs> and they feed you such good food. Uh, but yeah, there some people, initially I was kind of afraid to go to San Francisco. I thought people would be really cold, you know? You hear, like, it's kind of a scary city, but honestly, the people were so loving for the most part. <laughs> Obviously, like, when you're tracking, people aren't usually, they're not always the nicest, but people are really loving, especially Spanish people, so... It's pretty exciting.